hey, if you look up Gems Art Studio, they have this beautiful Ukrainian sunflower. Uh, it's absolutely worth checking out. All the profits are going to go to help Ukrainian charity. So please check it out. It'll be great. All the links will be below in the description and probably here in the picture. But yeah, go help, go help them out. Uh, Ukrainians are going through hell right now. This organized chaos video is brought to you by Gems Art Studio. Gems Art Studio is an online store that allows access to prints that you can use for most anything, obviously as just a picture, or as a wallpaper, or as a bookmark, or anything you can think of. You can find Gems Art Studio at etsy.com slash shop slash Gems Art Studio. This video is also brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. One of the cool things about this reaction format is that it allows me to dive into some stuff that I kind of want to talk about, but haven't really simply because of time. Like, just things that will happen that, you know, I I want to talk about, but I don't have time to do a full head essay about it. You know, don't have time to do a full video edit on it. But what this format kind of lets me do is do just a live record where I just kind of use some stuff off the cuff and yeah it allows me to do a video like this that I thought about doing something about this in a while but I uh, haven't um so we're gonna go back in time back to when this originally happened and we'll get to all what it is when we get to it but uh if you remember back in July it was early July 2021 uh there was a new Captain America comic book where he talks about the American dream. And I'll go ahead and read it here. It's just uh, this panel. It's, it's, it's essentially it's him reflecting. He's cleaning off his shield. And it reads, This is the white picket fence fallacy that, if we're not careful, becomes national jingoism. That dream isn't real. It never was. Because that dream doesn't get along nicely with reality. Other cultures, immigrants, the poor, the suffering. People easily come to be seen as different or un-American. The white picket fence becomes a gate to keep others out. We're at our best when we keep no one out. So that's actually, I think, pretty nice. It's a well-written thing. Just Captain America and his internal thoughts. And this blew up hard. Captain America saying the American dream isn't real which it's just him looking at what the american dream has become it's him reflecting on what a lot of us have done uh we've all been told the american dream is this great thing that will you know if we work hard enough we'll make it and that is not true at least not for everybody uh, there's so many people who work hard and don't make it and live in debt and that's a serious issue with this country that needs to be addressed and this is Captain America just reflecting on that he's not even getting into the nitty gritty he's not even as much as I just did and he's just reflecting on that and it, it's not that big a deal but of course it blew up and one of the more prominent figures talking about it was a uh, Dean Kane. Dean Cain played Superman, he went on Fox News, and he, he talked about his thoughts on this comic, and it's it's not a video I've actually seen, I'll admit it, which is part of why I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and watch this at the end, because I've not actually seen it. I've just read the articles on it. And essentially, once I read the articles on it, I threw up uh, this tweet right here. And it's pointing out the fact that uh, how it reads is, I, I really like... I really like at real Dean Cain's portrayal of Clark Kent in particular. That being said, my appreciation for his performance shrinks considerably every time he opens his mouth. Because, yeah, it, he's critiquing this and it's, it's just really simple-minded stuff. It's like, why are you doing this? <laughs> I just, I didn't understand. I mean, he... He just played a superhero, too. It, he never even played Captain America. So it's it's just weird that he's, like, attacking this. So, 
that's not quite the end of the story. Because not long after that, I get this. Dean Kane replying, So you disagree with what I said? My response, Yes, the ideals you speak of in your response are simply not real for most. This country still has a lot of work. This country still has a lot of work in dismissing con- and dis- oh my god, and dismissing criticism as simply woke or anti-American is simply ignorance of the real problems facing this country. Goes on. I have no problem with criticism, and the ideals I speak of are exactly that ideals, and I am and I very clearly said America is not perfect. We are always striving to be more per- we are always striving to be a more perfect union. I am all about tackling head on the real problems facing this country. And then I simply reply, so what's your issue with Captain America addressing these issues? Did you read the article? That's of course his response. And yeah, you know what? I skimmed it. But after he said, did you read it? You know, I did a thorough read of the article and uh, yeah, it, it was the same thing I skimmed. It was just his garbage, uh, anti-American garbage, you know. He's anti-American and woke and uh, just cringe words. So I just, after I thoroughly read it and my cursory review and thoroughly reading it came to the same conclusion, I was like, yes, read it again. The answers are there, he replies. Uh, because, and, you know, I'm not going to do this circular thing because read it again. Read, how many times do I have to read the fucking article to come to the same fucking conclusion? But anyways, I simply come back with, my question would be, since I have your ear, why not use your platform to help America with its problems and speak out about the injustice in this country rather than blast Captain America for being woke? And then his response is, I speak on what I wish, and I constantly use my platform to voice and I constantly use my platform and my voice to help America with its problems. I mean, uh, sure. I mean, give me some examples, man. Uh, you gotta be more helpful than dissing Captain America. I mean, Jesus. Um, and my, I simply reply, so you, so you use it to put Captain America, a fictional character, on blast. How does that remotely help this country? Jeff Bezos has $200 million while people die in the streets and you use your platform to complain about stuff being woke? And then this is his reply, which I'm sure is supposed to own me or some shit. Uh, It's the last message he does here. Sorry, Robert. I don't live my life or use my platform the way you want me to. You in all capitals, so, you know, you gotta emphasize it. Which is, I'm not gonna lie, it's an interesting admission. It's just him saying, I'm gonna use, it's essentially just him saying, I'm gonna use my platform for stupid shit and you can't stop me. And technically he's true, but why would you admit to using your platform for stupid shit? It's, it's, what the fuck, man? <laughs> So, yeah, no, I, I just reply, not asking you to, but you could actually use, but you could actually use it for something that's worth a damn. People die in the streets, and you have been gifted a platform, and you used to bitch about a comic book? You can use your platform how you want, and I'll critique it how I want. It's the American way. Now, he doesn't reply to that. Um, fun fact, I actually uh, did some backwards research. Uh, this middle tweet from him has been deleted, and where he, uh, where he asked, uh, did you, no, I, that one's up, and also where he asked, read it again, the answers are there, he deleted that one too. Now, why he deleted those two specifically and nothing else, I don't know, it seems kind of weird. I don't know, the whole exchange was kind of weird, and he seemed very defensive about the whole, you know, how dare you attack me? And I'll be honest, I genuinely thought he did a good... I wasn't thrilled with his Superman, but I genuinely liked 
his Clark Kent and Lois and Clark. Um, the series hasn't aged great. I've tried to watch it since then. It's not great. But I like how he played it, the Superman, kind of like a nerdy character. And it's really, like, disappointing to see him just being, honestly, a dumbass. I don't even know how else to describe it. But I guess now on to the main event. I'm actually going to watch the video where he talks about it. Um, I am fully prepared to cringe during this whole thing. Just FYI. Uh, going to be so, so, so cringe, I am sure. Captain America getting political and anything but patriotic in the latest Marvel com- Captain America is frequently political. What the fuck are you- The first- Goddamn issue of Captain America is him punching out Hitler. When? Uh, Jesus Christ. Comic series released. We haven't even gotten to the goddamn interview. Just the opening. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right before Independence Day. Well, the issue claims, quote, the first American dream is the one that isn't real. It's one some people expect to just be handed to them when the truth is it never really existed in the first place. Other cultures, immigrants, we're at our best when we keep no one out. A good dream is shared, shared radically, shared with everyone. When something isn't shared, it can become the American lie. Okay, yeah, that is not the same one I tracked down in my research. Um, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that, though. Uh, he's just analyzing the American dream and where it's at now. This is... This is kind of Captain America's wheelhouse. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh. All right, well, you confused? So what does Superman have to say about that? Dean Cain played that role and took great pride in it. Uh, Dean, does this really bother you more than... Oh, God, Fox and Friends, Jesus. Most, you would think? Brian, you know, I am uh, Captain America. You know, I love Captain America. I love the concept of Captain America. But uh, I am so tired of all of this wokeness and anti-Americanism. Um, you know, we just celebrated our 240... How is it anti-American to criticize America? One of our biggest uh freedoms is freedom of speech it's there's very little limits on our freedom of speech there are limits but there's very very little um like protesting is a big part of freedom of speech and i would consider that very american i i almost feel like a lot of these criticisms are people saying um you have to just take america and like it otherwise you're anti-american uh I mean, isn't part of what makes this country great, like, the ability to evolve, to change? Is this asking too much? Is this too deep a thought? I mean, Jesus. 45th birthday. In my opinion, America is the greatest country in history. It's not perfect. We are constantly striving for a more perfect union, as we all know, but I believe she's the most fair equitable country ever and with more opportunity than anyone's ever seen and that's why people are clamoring to get here from all yes but we're getting less and less opportunities like the odds of changing your class once you're born are so low there's like no chance like when you're born into a certain class where it be lower class middle class upper class the odds of changing that are extremely low i don't have the stats in front of me because it's a live reaction but there's like no way and that's that's something that needs to be changed um i mean you just said uh it needs we can change and it needs to be improved yes let's do that all over the globe um i agree with senator tom cotton who was on um tom cotton fuck i hate him a couple days ago who said that uh, perhaps captain needs to be demoted to lieutenant because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the captain was kind of a, a, a just the name you know that right i, I mean I think that makes good sense. We're here you know America has its founding principles which i firmly believe in. I believe in individual freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of protest freedom. I believe in equality of opportunity, not outcome. 
competition, the ability to compete fairly, hard work. You know, they always bring up equality of outcome, but they're the only, like, I only see people on, like, Fox News or, like, Jordan Peterson bring up equality of outcome. Nobody is fighting for equality of outcome. People are fighting for equality of opportunity. And then they'll say, I agree with equality, uh, with equality of opportunity, but not equality of outcome. Well, nobody's fighting for equality of outcome. Because that's insane. That's impossible. Which, which brings you success and brings you material wealth, which in turn gives you self-reliance. That's what everybody wants on the face of this planet. That's what everybody strives for. That's why they're trying to come here. And and I find, you know, this wokeness, it's, it's, it, it's pervasive. It goes through everything it's in our school system the cool thing to do today is bash america the comic books do it uh the schools indoctrinate our kids they do that i mean what's wrong with criticizing america what you just have like you have freedom of speech and you're allowed to criticize america but you better not fucking use it because fuck you this is the be best country ever and how dare you try to improve it what the fuck logic is this oh my god this shit drives me nuts that our movies our television shows is full of it celebrities actors act so you just want all entertainment to be like pro-america propaganda i mean what what the fuck is this <sighs> yeah freedom of speech as long as you fucking agree with me that's that's his motto i guess athletes the media they love to bash america i, I don't get it's called art and it's just... And freedom of speech, you're allowed to criticize America. Fuck. You're criticizing a comic book. You're allowed to criticize a comic book just like other people can criticize America. It's the same right. In fact, I would say there's more of a right to criticize America because that's kind of what the point of it's supposed to be. We're supposed to work together to make the country better. I wonder to myself often, do these people ever travel outside of America? Do they go to hmm. other countries where they have to deal with governments who aren't anywhere near as fair as the United States? Yes, there are countries, a lot of countries that are worse than America. There's also some that are better. Like, the American healthcare system is absolute fucking dog shit. There are countries that have way better healthcare systems. Using his logic, how dare we criticize it because... America is fucking America. I mean, and states. I I don't think they do. I do it all the time. And I kiss the soil when I get back here. You're exactly right. I think more of a even more of a demotion. Private first class America, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but you're right. If anybody would have traveled the globe, it you know his last name is in America too. It's 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 a name. He's probably has an honorary rank of America of America honorary rank of captain. Um. Like, his name isn't Steve fucking America. I mean... It's Superman and Captain America. And you remember the comic book uh, for Superman when he, he disavowed his American citizenship and said he was now, uh, his allegiance was to the UN. I mean, this is everywhere. And if Captain America can't love America, then who can? Well, some of the best Captain America stories are where he really examines you know, America and where it's at and where he's at in America and what he truly stands for. It's called, like, good writing. I don't know if you've heard of it. And what what can be done about it? Because the countercultural view now is to be patriotic. Everyone in your line of work, it's a boring take to hate hate the country because that's what that's what they're all doing. Well, exactly. That's the whole point. Today, the, the cool, the fashionable thing to do is to bash America and to hate America. And I am on the exact opposite side of the fence. I love this country. I'm a full, complete optimist as well. I believe the pendulum will swing back to openly appreciating American values, the Constitution. The I mean, I'm really confused by this. Are there people like in the closet about like being an American patriot? Because I see this shit all the time. These people are not in the closet. Um, I mean, holy shit. I, they're just talking about issues I, that don't exist. I mean, they're talking about how do we deal with this. Maybe we address the fucking issues with America. And that might put us on a better course. I mean, this is the problem. There are real issues in this country and instead we have people 
working to fighting on how and getting people to shut up and stop complaining about America. Make America better than it is. And then, you know, if America is like as good as it can be and we have full equality of opportunity, which even that's impossible, but we need to get as close as possible as we can to that. And somebody's criticizing it, then yeah, may maybe maybe they you have a point to say, hey, don't criticize that. But we're not even close. We're not even fucking close. <sighs> Bill of Rights, as soon as people start studying them in school again, I think we'll get people understanding them and appreciating them. Um, so to do, pe do people not um, read the study the Bill of Rights at school? I did. I mean, and I don't. I mean, the, the Bill of Rights has freedom of speech in it. So what, you're supposed to say, okay, freedom of speech, and now I can uh, talk about how, use my freedom of speech to talk about how much I wink off to the American flag every day? I mean, what are we going for here? Today, me being sort of a counterculture guy, me supporting the- He's counterculture. The guy going raw, raw America better not criticize it as counterculture. This is some fucking bullshit brain rot shit going on here. This is intense flag and the red white and blue in the united states of america makes me a revolutionary in some terms yeah. which i'll get over yourself fuck i'm fine with it. dean thanks for coming on with us we're back to that thanks, being Dave. a revolutionary Thank you. you guys look good in pink too yeah okay yeah that that was so so goddamn cringe holy shit uh yeah it, it's been a while since i read the interview um, but yeah, that was just bad. I mean, what the fuck type of take is that? Listen, the Bill of Rights is great, and you better use it to talk about how fucking great America is or else. Uh, I mean, what the fuck? You make no goddamn sense, man. I, I don't even really have a closer except, uh, I thought you were, uh, Awesome, it's Clark Kent and Lois Clark, and yeah, outside of that, you suck. I apologize. I hate to break it to you. So that was my fight with Superman. I'm glad it's out of my system. They think order and chaos are somehow opposites and try to control what won't be. I used to fuck guys like you in prison.